Carterine, aka GW-501516, the endurance boosting research chemical your favorite influencer still thinks is a SARM. Spoiler alert, it's not, and no, this is not a sign to gamble. What if you could pop a pill and suddenly run farther, bike longer, and burn fat without caffeine jitters or shady doping needles? Sounds amazing, right? Meet Carterine. Developed in the early 90s by GlaxoSmithKline and Ligand Pharmaceuticals, Carterine isn't technically a SARM. It's actually a PPAR delta receptor agonist. Think of it as flipping your body's metabolic switch from gas guzzler to electric hybrid, dramatically boosting endurance and enhancing fat burning. In animal trials, mice given carterine increased their running endurance by an astonishing 70%. Translation, rodents turned into furry ultramarathoners overnight. Human users anecdotally report noticeable endurance boosts and impressive fat loss, perfect for crossfitters, endurance junkies, or cutting phases. But here's the big catch. In animal studies, rats were given carterine at relatively sky-high doses, about 3 up to 40 milligrams per kilograms per day, which sounds significantly higher than typical human doses. And they were given this for almost two years straight. Unfortunately, they developed aggressive cancers, especially in the liver, stomach, bladder, and colon. This finding was alarming enough to make pharmaceutical companies abandon it completely. Now, time for a quick street dosing reality check. Most recreational users run carterine between 10 to 20 milligrams per day, which sounds far lower than what caused tumors in rodents, but remember, carterine is still untested in the long term for humans, and the actual calculated human equivalent dose for some of those studies is uncomfortably close to the 20 milligram a day dose some athletes commonly take. Now, official human clinical trials lasting up to three months showed no signs of cancer, but they were far too short to guarantee safety over prolonged use. And let's not forget contamination roulette. Zero pharma grade carterine is available. Those online capsules you're buying, they might contain contaminants, random SARMs, or straight up creatine for all you know, which would still probably be cheaper and more effective than those BS creatine gummies your favorite influencer is still shilling. Bottom line. Yes, carterine boosts endurance and may aid in fat loss, especially in the short term, but the cancer risks, those seen at much higher doses in rats, remain a glaring red flag. Until we've got clear human data proving long-term safety, it's probably best to stick to literally almost anything else. That's carterine. Extreme endurance, uncertain risks. Proceed accordingly.